What is up, guys? It's Bear Boy here, and we're about to play Quantum Break. That's right. That's right. We're, we're going to take a break from these games I've been playing on the channel. We're going to play Quantum Break. First time I even cranked this game up right now. I'm playing on Xbox One. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! That's right, bitch! Move! I would have thought that was funny. Why isn't he smiling? Riverport University. Here we are. Hey. Thanks for the ride. No problem. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but... Well... This so game much. looks gorgeous. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Somebody's calling me. Jack, just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, Faggot. If you the courtyard, look right. You'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this. Still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. I could talk to this poison. Y'all about to get freaky in the park, girl. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. You're so badass, dude. He's, Babe, can we go home yet? Yeah, he's trying to get in that coach. He's trying to touch the coach. What is this? What the fuck is this? Is this a chick? Some protest. That's a chick. Look, she left her phone. Pick her phone up. Go through her pictures. Let's go through that girl at pictures. Look, it's unlocked too. Bruh, that's a Windows phone. I hate my fucking Windows phone. Don't get a Windows phone. If you guys have a Windows phone, throw that shit in the garbage. I can't because I need it. But if you can throw your phone away, just do it. If it's a Windows phone. It's fucking trash. Okay. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you could just ask me. Oh, girl, you want me to give you the shaft? The shaft? All right, what's going on here? Okay. This is how I talk to people. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> uh, that's quite an opener. Good. <laughs> 
Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Looks like she's getting frustrated because I won't make eye contact with her. Go ahead, her. check out the chart. <laughs> she looks frustrated because I won't look at her face. <laughs> I ain't looking at your chart, you bitch. Interested? Okay, I'll look at your chart. Are you just lurking around? Okay, I looked at the chart. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. <laughs> Ooh, to push their corporate right. agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. Oh wait, There's you gotta look at my good side. Over the city, and everybody's completely my good side. To it. Turn around. Uh, it doesn't look good. There we hey, go. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but I keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Two things. Hey. What? Protests over. At home. Fuck. Not why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Ooh. Prick. Liam Burke. Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell at security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Ooh. Just walk away. Ooh, I don't want to walk away. Liam Burke, a Monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. Oh, thanks for giving away the story. That's not, sh that's not, what is that called? Foreshadowing? I don't know why I forgot that. But yes, that that's not foreshadowing. That's literally telling me what he's going to do later. I don't, I hope that, I hope this stops. I hope like this just picks up. Where he's sitting in that room so that he doesn't keep giving away the fucking story. Made a long trip that shit's annoying. Research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> My god. He needed a friend. He's got bunny teeth. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. Where are we going? This way. Paul. We're going upstairs to the project lab. Thanks for telling me. How was the me? flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will Let's to solve this project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. We've known that in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Oh, this Years is... ago, William Joyce... That's what happened in Dead Secret the other day, guys. Remember when I was walking through the snow? Now known as Meyer Joyce. Space time continue minimum. All encompassing field enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Alright, pretty much he goes on to talk about a bunch of sciencey type shit, and you know how I am about science. I just don't fuck with it, really. I mean I know the basics, but this is fucking ridiculous. He's talking about quantum physics and all kind of crazy shit. And uh so I'm just gonna fucking skip this part and we're gonna go to the part where the time machine thingy happens. Yeah, this is professional editing. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, shit. This looks dangerous. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're going to cut our funding if I don't prove it. Uh, 
like an extreme level of detail in this game. I like it. Looks really clean. What do you want me to do? Am I just supposed to like stay hugged up to your asshole while you're walking? Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the <laughs> tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Oh! That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. This thing will send us back to the motherfucking dinosaur ages. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? He don't know. What was that? He just put. Core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole. What exactly are we testing here? What We're about the to hell? Find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. Okay. <clears throat> we need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, <laughs> two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I and mean, this can't be safe. What happens when- Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Man, this dude is crazy. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. What the fuck? <laughs> Paul, what? How? <laughs> wow, look at the, the way they're laughing. It's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiply. <laughs> this is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Fucking incredible. I mean, just. Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen, before they happen, cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. What? Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. 
I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. <laughs> we need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. He's trying to fuck something up. That's what he's trying to do. What are you doing? Oh, no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him. Shut up. Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up. Look shut at me. up. Look at me. Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. Or what? Oh shit. Oh god. No 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 no